What is going on everybody? It's Stas here. Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to be talking about seven frugal living tips that you should be implementing into your lives right now to save more money, to invest more money, and to one day become financially independent. All of these tips that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today, you'll be able to cut costs in areas that you don't really need to be spending much money in, therefore saving more money, investing more money, producing more cash flow that you could potentially live off of years down the road. So if you enjoy this video, hit that like button and let's get started right with the topic. So the first tip I want to share with you guys today is to buy clothes in the off season. This is something super, super important that can save you guys so much money. Have you noticed that when summer is over, for example, all of the clothes at department stores like Macy's, for example, you know, online, even, you know, some of these other in-store places, they have all their summer clothes for pennies on the dollar, 50%, 60%, 70% off that shirt you wanted. Oh, it's 70% off that, that t-shirt you wanted 70% off that bathing suit, 50% off that tank top, 40% off, right? So why wouldn't you buy these items after summer for the next year to save a ton of money, right? This only makes sense, guys. And another good example is with winter jackets. I'm sure a lot of you guys know winter jackets are pretty expensive. They range from $100, $200, $300. Sometimes people spend $500 to $1,000 on some of these winter jackets that go on sale right after winter ends, guys. It's funny, right? We see we're in winter right now in two, three months. Months, this is going to happen, right? We're going to see jackets on sale for pennies on the dollar. So why wouldn't you buy those jackets after winter for the next year to save 50, 60, 70% on on your money, right? And this goes for a bunch of different clothes. It's not just jackets. It's not just t-shirts. You can do this on pants. You can do this on, you know, shorts. A lot of stuff goes on sale after the season that they are meant to be worn in, right? It makes sense. So that's the first tip. Buy clothes in the off season. So the second tip is to make food, meal prep food that lasts, guys. Not only are you going to be able to have food on the go like this, you'll be cutting your expenses from eating out. Let's say, for example, you did not have meal prepped food, you work your job, and each day you don't have meal prepped food for lunch, right? What are you going to do? Well, you're going to go out and you're going to buy a $10, $15 Chipotle burrito, Chipotle bowl, and if you go out with your colleagues, you're going to be spending maybe $20, $25 on that lunch entree guys but let's say you have that meal prepped it's going to cost pennies on the dollar compared to what it would cost to go out eat chipotle eat chick-fil-a eat out with your colleagues whatever you guys would typically eat if you didn't have that meal prep so you would save a ridiculous amount of money every single week guys and this adds up through the years and of course through the decades guys let's say you work 20 30 years at a particular job right and you're eating out every single day just do that math right if you were to invest all of that money right and if with compound interest and all that fun stuff you would have made a crap ton of money if you were to not eat out every single day so meal prepping having your meals ready to go in the freezer, in the fridge, grab it, go. You'll save a ton of money. So the third thing I want to share with you guys, this might be my favorite thing, is to buy off-brand names at the supermarket and really with a lot of other things too, whether it be your toothpaste, whether it be your mouthwash, whether it be, you know, Q-tips, literally anything from hygiene to food, buy off-brand names because what you don't know, well, many people out there don't know, is that these products are are literally identical and that is what the power of branding has done for example what I personally do is I buy a lot of off-brand food right for example cereal I have an off-brand cinnamon toast crunch downstairs fun fact that's my favorite cereal and it tastes exactly like the regular cinnamon toast crunch and when you look at the ingredients they're identical one's a dollar 29 the off-brand and the on-brand is 399 and and literally, guys, 
that's the power of branding. What Cinnamon Toast Crunch has built has allowed it to charge more money for the same exact food as the off-brand. So just buy off-brand, guys. You'll save money. You're not going to lose health because it's the same exact food. Don't let the brand trick you. A lot of people out there don't know this, but you'll save a ton of money just buying off-brand foods and products like toothbrush, toothpaste, and a bunch of other stuff out there. So the fourth one might not save you as much money as some of the other ones we're going to be talking about in this video, but it's simply to turn off your lights when you leave your room, your house, your bathroom, whatever, guys. This will save you a pretty good amount on your electricity bill over time. Just think about it. You see this light right now? It's off. But this other one up here is on, right? If When I leave this room, I'm going to turn this off off, right? A lot of people, I've seen a lot of people in my family, my friends, they have the habit of leaving a room, leaving a house, and leaving all of the lights in that house on. There's a chandelier downstairs. I turn that off when I leave. You know, I turn off every single light in this house when I leave. It saves money. It might be pennies. It might be a couple bucks here and there, but money is money, and anything that we can save and invest into our future I'm all about it, guys. So turn off your lights. It's a very, very simple thing to do. Make it a habit. Every time you leave your room, turn the lights off. Every time you leave the bathroom, turn the lights off. Very, very simple. Make it a habit. So the fifth one I want to talk about today is to use credit cards to your advantage. This may be a bit more advanced for people out there that don't really have the self-discipline for credit cards, but if you have the discipline for the credit cards, right, meaning that you pay off every single dollar that you charge every single month, you don't let the credit card interest eat you, you can use these to your advantage and actually make money by simply using a credit card, right? Me personally, I have three credit cards. I have the Capital One Saver, Capital One Quicksilver, and I have another Capital One Quicksilver. Three credit cards that I personally use responsibly that make me money every single month. And how do you make money on these? Well, it's through credit card rewards points, guys. If you use these responsibly, if you pay them every single month, you won't accrue interest whatsoever and you'll just be making 1%, 2%, 3%, 4% cash back on your credit card purchases depending on what credit card you use. For example, I personally have the credit card uh, Capital One Saver, which is one that you use when you go out to dining and you save my, my contract. I think it's about 2% cash back on dining, right? I think it's like 3% cash back at supermarkets and you're literally getting 3% cash back for just simply swiping the credit card. Let's say, for example, I go to a supermarket, spend $100, right? I get $3 back if I simply swipe and use that credit card. In this way, guys, you are literally getting free, free money over time that you can invest, save, and then put back, you know, even to pay off your credit card bill. And But of course, you can use it to invest and save money for the long term. So the sixth thing I want to talk about today is to cut your cable if you are not using it. Of course, if you're using cable, you're watching TV every single day, this may not be applicable to you. But if you find yourself, you know, watching TV once a week, you barely turn on the TV, you're on your computer most of the time, on Netflix, on YouTube, whatever, just cut that cable and you can save 50 to 100 bucks a month, whatever you may be paying in terms of your cable. Me personally, I don't even have cable, guys. I barely watch TV ever. All I watch are sports and I use my computer to stream them, right? I stream sports on my computer. I don't even have a Netflix account. I barely watch TV. And you can honestly save a ton of money just simply Simply cutting your cable, you know, letting go of that old traditional media and just watching YouTube, even Netflix, guys. Netflix is a cheap alternative to cable. They have a ton of awesome shows there, awesome movies. And of course, if you're into sports, there's packages online where you can watch sports through ESPN, all these different things. And of course, you can watch them illegally, but don't do that. Do not do that. Don't do that. It's illegal. But uh, that's the number six that you can be doing 
you save more money and therefore invest more money. So the seventh and final one we're gonna be talking about in this video, which is probably the biggest money saver out of all of the ones that I've talked about on this list, is to lower your car payment, guys. Lower your car payment. Let's say you have a Mercedes, you have a BMW, you have an Audi, right? These cars, if you're leasing them especially, they're gonna be costing you 600 bucks to 1,000 bucks per month. Let's say you have a loan, you're paying four, five, six hundred dollars depending on what you put down for that particular car. These cars are luxury. They are extremely, extremely expensive. And if you honestly can't afford these cars, if you can't afford five of these cars, you shouldn't be buying one of these cars, guys. And I see a lot of people out there that buy Audis, BMWs, Mercedes, just to flex, you know, just to, you know, show off to the Joneses, you know, all this BS that, that people try to, you know, uh, you know, please society, right? And try to seem all cool. And deep down, they can't afford that car payment, that's just absolute blasphemy, guys. You should, if you know deep down you can't afford that car payment, cut that car payment, go out, buy a Ford, buy a Toyota, buy a Honda, a used 2010 car, 2011 car, 2012 car, that will literally cost you two, $300 a month, right? And if you're doing that, you're literally saving 50% on your money by cutting it from 600, let's say, for example, down to $300 per month. And over time, guys, let's say, for example, you have, this is going to be a little bit crazy, but let's say you have a $1,000 car payment right now. Let's say you have, you know, an M5 BMW, $80,000 car, $90,000 car, whatever. This is going to cost you $12,000 per year. And this is all numbers off my head, guys. It might not be exact what it costs, but it's just for the example, right? You will be having $12,000 a year in car payments. But let's say you had that Ford, that Honda, that Kia, whatever cheaper car out there, you would have to pay $300 a month and you'll be saving, you know, a ton, a ton, a ton of money, 300 bucks a month over the span of a year. What is that? Like 3,600 bucks compared to 12,000. You're literally saving like eight, 9,000 bucks just by having a cheaper car and lowering your car payments. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and feel free to let me know what you are doing out there to become more frugal and to save more money. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. I really do appreciate all you out there watching. Peace out.